Now, in a data window expression, you can combine column names, logical and or arithmetic operators, constant values, names of other data window properties, all to result in a value. Now, these resultant values are then applied to the property for which you've defined the expression. Most, but not all, data window object properties can have expressions applied to them. Default expressions are applied statically at design time, but can also be applied dynamically at runtime. Here I have a tabular data window presentation style open in the data window painter. What we're going to do is to apply a default expression statically at design time. Now what I want to achieve here in the presentation of this tabular data window is a classic green bar effect. In fact, every other row having a green, white, green, white alternation to its background. In order to do this, I need to manipulate or apply an expression to the background color of the detail band. In another video in this data window introductory series, we saw define the header band, the detail band, summary and footer bands, as well as trailer and header bands for groups in data window objects. But here, we're going to apply this expression to the detail band to achieve that green bar effect. You'll note that I already have the property grid for this data window open. What I'm going to do is to select the detail band itself and its properties now appear in the property grid. And what I'm going to do is to expand its color property. And we see that indeed an expression is possible for the color of a detail band. And what I'll do now is to open up the expression dialog in order to define the expression for the color property of the detail band. So think of the expression dialog as a workbench, if you will, to be able to define your data window expression. Here we have the arithmetic operators. We have functions here in this list box, data window functions, that is. By checking off this show user functions checkbox, you can include your developer-defined global functions in this solution. And we also have a list box of columns that are part of your data window results set. Uh, that allows you to include the values in each of these columns for a specific row in your data window expression. For this particular example, we will not use any of the data values in the columns. Instead, we'll use the values of the data window's presentation layer itself. So let's begin assembling our data window expression. First, what I want to do is to get the if function here in the workbench. We see the first thing that the if function requires is a Boolean expression. And what I'm going to utilize is the mod or modulus function call. This will tell me if the first value divided by the second value, what its remainder value is, or the modulus. So the remainder that I want is the value 2, since I want a green value in every other row. And in fact, what I want to divide by 2 is the value of each current row. So what I will do is insert the get row function here. So if the remainder of dividing the current row's value by 2 is equal to 1, and that's true, then I want the value to be white, 16777215. It is not equal to 1. What I want is a particular green value represented by the long value of 25231232. I can utilize this dialog to verify whether it is a valid expression, and in fact it is. I'll click OK, and I'll click OK to accept it and apply it. And we see that it's worked. The effect that we desired has been put into place, uh, an alternating green bar effect. The next technique we want to examine is dynamically applying data window expressions at runtime, ostensibly to be able to accommodate uh, user input or some other transient condition that will dictate the values used. This example shows how data window expressions can be utilized to manipulate the text color of various columns in the data window object. Let me go ahead and enter a value of BA here, utilizing like operator. Uh, let me go ahead and enter some criterion for salary. And let's use an in list of comma separated values.
And also what I want to do is to utilize a data window case expression function to be able to manipulate uh, those columns according to these values. So if uh, the status of the employee is active, I do want the green value. And if they've been terminated, a red value. And if they're simply on leave, a blue value. And what I'm going to do is to submit the modify call. And we see that we have the desired manipulation happening after dynamically applying the expression at runtime. In another video in this series, we saw how we can use the data window controls modify function call to manipulate the properties of a data window object at runtime. Here's an alternative technique to the modify function call, uh, that is using dot notation. We see the data window controls name dot object dot and the object or the data window item name that we want to manipulate. In this case, it's the employee last name column and further specifying its color property. And here's the expression that will supply its value. And here is the dynamic runtime version of our data window expression. Here we have, as we saw earlier in the static application of a data window function at design time, the equivalent if statement in this case. Uh, what we're doing is saying if the employee's last name is like, and then supplying the user entered text from the single line edit, then have a red value, and if not, a white long value. Uh, here, what we also have at runtime using the modify or dot notation technique is to first specify the default value if this expression ends up being invalid, and followed by or delimited by a tilde t character sequence. And here we see the same technique being utilized to manipulate the color of the employee's salary column, and also taking the user entered values to manipulate the employee ID column. And down below we also see the case, the data window expression case function being utilized to manipulate uh, the colors of that column according to the user entered values. A very powerful tool that will assist you in creating dynamically applied modification strings for data window expressions, or in fact generically for any modification dynamically at runtime, is the data window syntax tool created by my colleague Sandy Barletta. If we go into the syntax modify and attributes mode for this dialog, we can begin constructing and or selecting a data window modify expressions. Here selecting the color property for the data window, we see that there are two flavors or variants available for our runtime modification. That utilizing the modify function call for the data window control versus the perhaps more straightforward dot notation. A word to the wise, a paranoid guy, always chooses the modify call in that you can get the return value for success or failure and apply appropriate error detection. Here with dot notation the error detection or error checking is much more problematic. This has been Power Builder The Basics Data Window Expressions.